Thank you for clicking this video welcome to my space so today we're going to be packing together for my trip to paris france i'm going there in a couple days literally tomorrow evening with two friends of mine it's purely a leisure trip and yeah i have all my stuff here ready to go in the box and i want you to join me if this is something you think you don't mind watching sit back relax and enjoy my name is stephanie and you're welcome to the metro gypsy platform Have a lot of stuff. I collaborated with two Nigerian brands, one based in Lagos, one based in London, and then I just have my other stuff. I just want to create content, have fun, catch the spring vibes in another city, literally. So let's get right into this. I've separated the clothing items into cords, dresses, tops, and then some few pieces I'm going to use to film content for my YouTube with my friends. They haven't even seen any of these items yet, so it's going to be a surprise. So let's start with the dresses. The first dress here is this one. It's a lovely um, shift dress by SGTC Clothing. They're a Nigerian brand. I usually choose the styles myself from things they already had. They have like a ready-to-wear kind of line. Next is a PR piece from Chichi London. Sorry, I even forgot to mention in the beginning. So yeah, they sent this to me. I think um, three weeks ago, but since I knew I was going to Paris, I just said, you know what, I'll just keep it. So this is it. It's a lovely, like low high hem dress. I picked this one because I really love the bottom part of it. So it could serve as a skirt when I don't want to wear it as a dress. A lot of times I have skirts that I want to be really structured. I always need things like this organza tool and this will really come in handy for the future. This steel dress, you remember the Zara suit I had is the same color with this. So I think, I don't know, is this light green or I don't know, teal? Yeah, but it's a midi dress and midi dresses are so retro, so classy, so chic. And yeah, I think this would really fit in Paris. Okay, before I even continue, the theme for how I'm going to be looking in Paris is a bit formal. I wouldn't say casual at all, no streets, no edginess of, you know, metro. They're just going to be like chic, retro and very feminine. The links to most of these things will be in the description box. Obviously, if it's a Nigerian brand, I'll probably just send you their Instagram accounts because you can always order via DM. This is just a simple dress. You can wear a blazer over this. I'm not really sure how I'm going to style this one, but I think I'm going to keep it really, really simple for this one. I think I'm tired of wearing unnecessary heels up and down. Something like this should just come in. So it's a midi dress. One of those midi dresses I really love, but this one has a ruching at the side. Perfect brunch outfit, perfect date night outfit, and perfect just jumping all around having fun outfits. And I love the color as well, purple, royal purple for queens. Next is this one. This is definitely going to be one of the outfits I'll wear. Um, I'm thinking with the Eiffel Tower view, this would be really good because it's kind of a flowy dress. And then aside that, it's got an interesting um, sleeve. It's a bit balloony, but not crazy balloon. And then it's got cut out as well in the middle. It's also dark, um, dark floral vibes, which I just finished enjoying in winter and I'm bringing it a bit back into spring. Obviously there's flowers on the dress, so that really embodies the spring vibe. Another midi dress, because I really love my midi dresses, um, is this like proper vegetable green one, same kind of sheer sleeves. And uh, yeah. So I got this in a large because I really want the loose fit of this particular dress. And yeah, it's got layers as well. Going away from midi dresses, my next dress, which is the last dress I'm going <laughs> away with, is a mini dress. So that's how this one looks. You can pull the shoulder wheel down so the dress goes, you know, just a bit low and not be too mini. But I love the fact that it's black. It wouldn't make me look too um exposed if i would say we're done with the dresses now we'll go into the cohorts you know i really love cohorts because it makes your styling process really really simple you already have top and bottom the only thing you need to add is your footwear and your sunglasses and your handbag if you want to carry a handbag the first um cohort is this one i'm so sorry i steamed this thing yesterday it was really stressful steaming it so i'm not even trying to open it but it's a maxi dress i'll probably put a picture on the side and then a tie top so this one is going to be for when we go for our river cruise one of the days yeah we have this lovely river cruise where we'll see a lot of the views of paris and we're going i told them to wear white just so that our pictures look cute in white i also have white sunglasses which i probably wear and my scarf or something just something to add a bit of drama next go on uh, this pair of trousers so they're just great tailored pants i obviously i'm telling you i'm going really chic and formal for this trip that's my wardrobe theme just a pair of trousers got belt holes but i don't think i'm going to be using that and let me show you the top 
I'm sure you'll be guessing the top is a blazer. It's a blazer, but it's a sleeveless blazer. I'm going to open this one. So yeah, this is how it looks. I love how loose fit is going to look. It's going to look really slouchy. I'll probably wear sneakers with them. This next coat really screamed Paris to me. Why? Because of Chanel. I think the kind of cuts they gave this looks like a Chanel piece, you know? I don't really have things that are this light in color. I really love like really dark bold colors, but I love this. It's got just little shoulder pad. Obviously, it's the um, textured fabric, the fabric that is kind of close to tweed. The buttons are not as annoying as you see in some Zara jacket buttons. So I really, really like this. And it's got like two pockets at the front. There's no collar. It's just cute and simple. Can you guess what the bottom is? Shorts, skirts, trousers. It's a skirt and shorts. So it's called a skirt. So yeah, I'm going to wear two of them together. I'm not sure what shoes I'm going to wear, but I'm thinking I'll just wear my black pumps just so I'll look, you know, classic or maybe my white pumps. I'm not sure. When I'm packing, I'll be styling things. But for now, I just want to show you the outfit. So yeah, this is um, how this looks. You can drop in the comment section right now how you think I should style this piece. Next is this midi skirts and top look so this is a pr piece from femlux um, yeah i also have this cardigan from femlux i'll probably just wear it on the train because i really want to show the femlux content there as well but i don't know why i didn't really plan too much for them anywho this is the midi skirt it's really long but by the time i wear it you see how midi is this skirt is looking like something that can be a dress as well you know you can just wear it at the top and then wear a blazer over it but i know it's supposed to be a skirt and i love the print of it. This would have been ideal for the boot if I didn't tell my girls we should do um, white on white. So yeah, I'm just going to try and style it in a formal way. Maybe by putting a blazer over it. Yes, I'll show you the blazer very soon. Anywho, this is the bandeau top. It comes in Femlux. As I said, links to shop. This will be in the um, description box. I really love this. It looks like a very versatile piece because we can obviously wear this midi skirt with a different top and blazer and then you look like you're going somewhere and then you can wear this under the blazer as well. You can also wear it like to the beach or something very calm like the boat ride I mentioned and all that. So yeah, I really love that. So I'm going to show you the blazer now before I go to the last cord. I haven't tried both of them together but this is the plan to wear this brown blazer with the midi skirt look. I'm really hoping it goes well. I don't even know what full I'm going to wear. Maybe something flat, something, I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. But yeah, this blazer is what I intend to wear over that because I don't want to be exposed um, that much. Last but not the least um, for the cool odds yeah, is this piece. So this is called the Agbada something piece for SGTC clothing. So it's actually a pair of culottes. Let me show you the colors and I wanted it in a really bright color because with them you can also choose the fabric you want They'll give you options obviously of what's available and then you choose So I just really love how this like it just it's just perfect for the season So it's a pair of colors. It's got a bit of detail at the waist Gorgeous gorgeous gorgeous. So you see the shirt and then it's got pockets as well Obviously we love our pockets. You see the shirt so you see how those details are going to because then I was like ah this shirt How do I see the details on the waist? Well, you see that now this is it so here yeah, it's got the color then you can see this hem it's, it's high so you can see all your details she just make sure you order your size like true to size because you're already very exaggerated when you're ordering it make sure you tell them to send you a size guide and make sure you choose your size let me show you the tops now the blazer was part of the things i had as tops i'll show you the next top so this is really dramatic and then it's from sgtc clothing as well yes so with this one you literally choose the fabric you want here you choose the fabric you want for the frills and yeah they make it for you i actually wanted this as the main fabric but i don't think they had enough for this i can't remember which one they did have enough so we had to switch it over and then it doesn't look bad at all because this is now a bit understated finishing at sgtc clothing is perfect you know they also make clothes for big brother niger housemates that's another thing tell you how they've grown so this skirt is something I have from work. So I'm thinking I'll wear this and then maybe just dramatize it more. Now to show you the pieces I'm going to use to film it. It's an inclusive whole YouTube video. The same type of outfit and then obviously we're all different heights. We're all different sizes. And we just show people how they can look, I don't know, differently. 
I don't know, it's called inclusive hall. <laughs> got this dress, it's a wrap dress. But for this particular one, I don't want to get the same color. So I got this color for Mo. This is mine, and then this is a go go. Just watch out for that video. We all have different boob sizes as well. So there's really so many things, you know, that are different from three of us. And then you'll be exciting watching this video. So I got this pink jumpsuit. It's quite dramatic at the side. The um, sides is just like sleeveless, and this is like this. Another thing I thought about is wearing this jumpsuit with this shirt that is confusing my life because obviously there's some pink in it so i was thinking if i wear this and because the hand is really big you might not notice this one is under it and then just use the trousers to see how the look will be the so last but not the least a kimono from amber mystery this just literally came in some minutes ago into my house so we're collaborating on this trip as well and then she sent me three kimonos in my mind i'm going to, i was going to use them to do like reels in maybe eiffel tower or just anywhere around paris i haven't really thought of these things and it's crazy the trip is already tomorrow but i also thought to add it to my video so we we'll have three looks instead of just two boring ones the last time i did it i actually had four but because of timing i don't want too many looks so i'm going to add it to the look so yeah let's open it so this is how we came up see in a proper or in another package with my address and then she says with love and by mystery by mystery thank you lovely touch gorgeous i love the fact that the three prints are so different so let's just look at one of them i'll probably take this one when i'm filming with the girls oh it even has like buttons here so i think if you want to make it a turn up you'll be able to do that i got also get a pair of shoes actually platform heels just to style i don't know any of the items for sunglasses i got um one two three four five six seven of them this is one of it is this lilac one i really can't wait to wear this with part of the hdtc stuff let me show you how it looks on me already i always think that square sunglasses suit me better and yeah that's why i got most of my sunglasses are square this green one i can't even wait to wear this one this is an ASOS pair and then I know it looks so fabulous especially when I have all the color on myself. There's some other ones here which you're going to see while I show you how I style these pieces. Last but definitely not the least, I decided to get something from Kai Collective. So it, this came yesterday, I just haven't taken it out and this is how it looks. This is one of my favorite prints from Kai Collective Studio. And I think my favorite one is the red one or this one, Sha. But yeah, so I just got the tights. It's really, really, really sheer. It is. <laughs> it's really show. Yeah, this it wasn't up to thirty pounds because obviously it was on sale, and yeah, it got delivered by DHL. I, my intentions were to wear these to the train station because we're going via Eurostar and pay it with this jumper I got from Hobby's Wardrobe, which suits it so so good. What do you think? That's about it for getting ready with me to Paris. The next video you'll see regarding the trip will be the actual trip itself also i would have reels random insta story random instagram post on my instagram at metro gypsy make sure you go there and follow me please click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet click the bell right beside the subscribe button so you get notifications every time i post if this is your first time on here mwah, welcome please make them feel welcome in the comment section and then if this is, this is not your first time you know you're already family Thank you so much for coming back. Drop a comment because I love to read from you. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.